when we get back to thinking about, well, how far does this go back? What is the reach of this form of expression? And you can see it on the paintings and petroglyphs, the pictographs you see on the rock in the caves. It's been done for centuries. For as long as people could express themselves, they've been creating art. I am Brent Greenwood. I am a Chickasaw and Ponca artist. And my primary mediums are acrylics. I do focus on a lot of mixed media and other expressions in art. Being an artist is something I've always aspired to be. I never had the thoughts or notions of this being a career because it was just something I did. I get in with my fingers and I, I smear, I smudge it, I blend it with the paints, the acrylics. I'm a mixed media artist, so I just don't rely on paint to create my imagery. I start out with a basic idea, a sketch, and with charcoal. And then by using those different mixed media uh, elements, it kind of really meshes together and creates a really significant piece of depth. As far as, you know, the creative process, it's intrinsic, it's innate, it's something that we're very hands-on people. And so through that, I see myself kind of evoking that same process. So a lot of times with my paintings, I will use my hands. I really get into the feel of it. There's a lot of scratching with the fingernails, other materials I might use to help create movement and energy. And I think that is reflective of just our culture. We're evolving, we're changing, we're adapting, and that is through the arts, with the introduction of new materials and processes. We're able to incorporate that into our creative expression. The colors I use, the palette I use, it is maybe referring more to the abstract. What is abstract? For me, sometimes abstract is reality when it comes to art and expressing because you are truly creating and putting something out there that you are engaging with. And so I may engage my viewer with a narrative or a story about the tribe, and then I leave it up for them to figure out the rest of that narrative, or I just want them to be evoked on an emotional level by my color, by the splatters, by the drips, by the texture. And that's something that I don't ever predetermine. I just let the painting engage me, and then it directs me the direction that this is gonna go. Like, hmm, this looks good. Ah, that's cool how those drips worked out. They're drips, but for some reason, and it's hard to explain, but it looks good to me. That's why I leave it and move on. I am much in love with the environment and my surroundings and by being observant and noticing, you know, just the way the, the grass blows in the wind. And through those observations of the physical, the visual, I feel like that comes through in my work. And so whenever I share that thought, I just want my students, I want the young people that I teach and mentor to be aware of these things, you know, just don't take things for granted. I want them to take away that there's no wrong way to create work. And if they're just really in tune by understanding their culture, by talking to the elders, by being involved, I think through that, those influences, there's a lot of influences outside of what I'm teaching them in the classroom. Those outside influences of family, of the tribe, of the stories, the history. I think the history is paramount to understanding where you want to go because you can't go anywhere if you don't know where you came from. And that's, I firmly believe that. So if they have that knowledge, they will have a better sense of their self, their place, their community. And through that, they will be able to create and speak to this narrative of what it is to be a native artist and a Chickasaw artist. The total message is that we are modern day storytellers. And this is that visual language that we are commenting on through these visual expressions. So those many visuals come in many forms and expressions, and that's how we carry on our message and our culture. What I think is very special about the potential our students have today is that we're sharing our experiences with them 
in hopes that they will be inspired by these experiences to realize the importance of culture and how they are to be the modern day storytellers. They're the next generation. Thank you.